Scorpio. What's your water, babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a scorpion for the end of July? <laughs> Are you guys in this space of letting shit go? Completing cycles? Staying not with the shits and drama free? <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube. They can further assist you without cussing. Because the way Mocha set up, I'm going to do that. All right? To the new subscribers, hey, y'all. Welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow, we share, we love, we evolve. Hadi vibes only over here. We family, all right? Returning family, and what's up, gang gang? I would like to thank everybody, you guys, um, for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the reads, the love. Thank you so very, very, very much. I have a lot of content that I'm looking to release going forward. That's part of the reason why I've been late, because you know me, you know, Aries really don't plan, so I've been doing my, my something different. To get some different. Um, so I've I kind of been in strategy and playing mode. Okay. Also been going through um, sinus issues as well. So you guys bear with me. All right. Well, this will be for, supposed to be for mid-July, y'all. But is it, we late, late. Okay. So it's going to be from now to the end of July 2019. And yes, we will have August videos. All right. Uh, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description box below. Let's get it. So we're going to start with your intuitive messages for the month. What you guys got? Opening up. Ego death. Fear of rejection. Plot twists. Sacrifices. Children as control. Deception. New career. Abandonment. Karmic closes. Breaking free. Apologies. Frenemies, drama free, desired outcomes, father figure, decision, I'm sorry, decision making, ending cycles, forgiveness, sudden wealth, new career, new moves. Okay, I had new careers there. So I'm sorry, did I say that? I didn't remember if I told y'all or not. Hope the intuitive messages do uh, resonate with you. This is your reading. Let's talk about it, all right? Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the nine of spades. So some of you guys could definitely be working on completing something, okay? And it definitely looks like to be something that you are very passionate about, okay? Some of you guys could also be seeing um, elements of nine, the three, three, three. Some of you guys could also be seeing two, 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 four, four, four. Um, there is balance and stability trying to come into your life, but it's going to be after you complete one particular cycle to go into the next, okay? So the angel message that you guys got for... This late half of July is Smoky Quartz. I gotta stop calling this shit Angel Miss. This is the Doreen Virtue Crystal Angels deck. Okay, so these are crystals, you guys. You got Smoky Quartz. Okay. Clearing negativity. Release negativity from within or around you. Y'all know how I rock out with these messages. I'm gonna say what the book say for that, and then I'm gonna tell you uh, intuitively what I pick up for the uh, for the end of the month. You drew this card because there's no need to clear, I'm sorry, you drew this card because there's a need to clear away negative energy from within or around you. This could be, <clears throat> excuse me, this could be negativity in your present life or some grievance from your past that you, I'm sorry, that's been harboring and have had difficulty forgiving. Fortunately, you don't need to consciously know which form of negativity you are clearing, nor are you advised to analyze it. After all, focusing up on negativity only gives it strength and power. You need some self-care to clear yourself right now. This could take in the I'm sorry, this could take the form of praying for God, Jesus, and Archangel Michael to lift away what doesn't serve you. You may even want to ask a trusted religious or spiritual healer for help with this process. Those who are highly sensitive often absorb lower energies, so it's nothing to fear or be ashamed of. It's simply a matter of taking care of the situation. Other effective clearing methods include sleeping next to a smoky quartz crystal, spraying sage oil, smudging a sage wine, or eating powdered sage spice. 
soaking in a sea salt bath, spending time in nature, and doing gentle exercise, taking care of yourself. Selfishness, in other words, Scorpio. It's time to be selfish. They call y'all that shit anyway. You might as well be fucking set up. I will answer what they call you. Shit. You'd be a lot happier. Damn it. You wouldn't be feeling as if you sacrificed so much to not for things not to go as they as you would like them to go, okay? There's a need during this time for you guys to detach from ex like a expected outcomes when it comes to tying the outcome with a particular face, okay? Others of you, there's a need for you guys to practice the act actively use your throat chakra during this time. Speak up for yourself. Don't allow for shit to get bad and then speak because it comes from a space of harboring. So it may come out negative and not be perceived with the point that you was trying to get across. Okay? For others of you, some of you guys may be receiving um some of you guys some of y'all may may be receiving crown chakra activations. If you're having any pressures around your crown um, you'll find during this time, it's very, you can use either one. Right? Luckily, I got both of them here. This is a green adventure, okay? So you can take it here. It's for healing, okay? Also associated with the heart chakra as well. You can take it here for healing, okay? You can also take it around with your penny, okay? Or you can also take it and actually, you know, if you ain't got as much hair and my little afro puff shit I got combed up here. But you would put it, you know, gently on your head. You can also use a, an amethyst. Oh, I got an amethyst. I was going to say, I only got my amethyst one. You can also use an amethyst crystal, okay? Same process. Great for clearing as well as clarity, as well as great for um, kind of, how can I, what the word I'm looking for is focusing, okay? Honing in, you're honing in with your intuition, okay? So you having that going on, that amethyst will be hella help to you, all right? Y'all, Mercury Retrograde got my words fucked up, so y'all bear with me, okay? Let's get it. Dad, and I think I'm a little too excited. I came to y'all after I worked out today. <laughs> some of you all also may be, uh, may be, there's a need for some of you guys also. Some of y'all could be um, reminiscing or truly connecting, having a hard time releasing a mother figure or a sister figure that could have passed for some of you all within the last two to six years, okay? This person could have also been 26 when they passed. For some of you all, this person could have been born in the year 1962. Something about the two and the six with the eight having to do with infinity as well as um, things that are faded, okay? As well as for some of you all, karma. So some of y'all may be on the outside looking into everybody else's karma around you. What's needed is for you to not... For you to accept the fact you can't control the situation, but for you to also uh, be allowing to the changes that are happening in your life. So it's not happening to you, yet for you, okay? There's a need for you guys to reprogram the subconscious on how you look at things as far as blaming others. There's aspects to every situation, every friendship, every partnership that mirrors you in some aspect. It's just not, and not, not overanalyzing it. But just taking stock, taking reflection, taking review of your past to kind of see what areas need to be tweaked going forward, okay? So let's get it. For my water babies, what's going on with my scorpions in love? I'm on this um, astrological page on Facebook. It's in a group. Ooh, they be doing y'all bad up in there. I ain't going to put no fingers or no elbows, you know, because me personally... I've dealt with Scorpios. I gotta say, the only issue that I have had with my Scorpios in the past was the opening up the vulnerability part. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. But to be very honest with you, I also have an issue with my damn self. So, I mean, you know, you are what you attract. So if you want someone to be more open and um, being more vulnerable with you, Scorpio, you kind of got to give that. Got to get some, give something in order to get something, Okay. Okay, what messages do you have from my beautiful Scorpion, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers from now to the end of July 2019 in love? What messages do you have oh, from my Scorpions, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers in love? Yeah, some of you all, you have a new beginning, okay? And it's definitely about some of y'all have a new beginning with a soulmate. You could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. They could also be someone who um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For those of you who have put out your damn petitions trying to manifest money, I definitely see it's harvest time, baby. Some of you all also may be moving and starting new jobs as well. Some of you all also, um, 
Some of y'all also may be coming into some type of inheritance, okay? Others of you, you may have an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is maybe wanting to express their love to you during this time. Some of y'all are moving away from Gemini, Libra, Aquarius because you feel as if, yeah, you feel as if you've been patient enough waiting on this person to open up. For some of you all, this person, yeah, for some of you all, this person has a way of self-sabotaging, okay? Others of you, yeah, if you're dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some of you guys are dealing with the sign of Gemini. This person is a mirroring aspect of you, okay? I definitely feel like there's a sense for you guys to be open to the aspect of duality, however, being very, protect being very protective of your own energy, okay? And standing in your own autonomy, not needing the validation of another person, okay? Some of you all are really wanting something to manifest here in the physical. For some of you all, it's definitely involving a soulmate. Some of y'all just have to do with the twin flame union. Others of you, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Capricorn. I definitely feel like for some of you all, you feel tied into a situation possibly due to children because you have, um, if you're dealing with the sign of Capricorn, some of y'all, you having this same exact feeling when it comes to dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of you all are focused on that bag during this time, and Shimani's looking damn good during this time. Others of you who have been kind of in your head and kind of back and forth resistance on if you should offer a cup of love or if you should go back and revisit a situation possibly, uh, yeah, possibly with someone from your past or your childhood, okay, you could have known this person since you were, since you were younger. Okay, or this could be someone who you have children with. For some of you all, you have something brand new that's trying to flourish. Others of y'all are going to be finding out that you're pregnant during this time. Congratulations, because Mocha love them kids. Some of y'all could actually be having a baby by a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And there's a need for you guys to find some type of middle ground or compromise. Some of you all could also be moving away. Some of y'all could be really uh, wanting to relocate. There is positive news coming in about, regarding that, okay? But I definitely see, if you're dealing with a fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sash, this could be a reconciliation. I definitely feel like someone is in their head about it because someone is kind of questioning themselves. Like, there's a sense of um, someone feeling as if they're not confident, they don't have enough, as if they have this. And I only see that the, that the, that the lack is only within the mind. There's a need for you guys to speak positive into your life and only allow people in your life who's willing to share that aspect with you if they can't help you grow they ass has got to go okay <clears throat> others of you this has to do with reciprocity some of you all could feel as if you're giving more in a situation or um yeah you're giving more in a situation involving a earth sign capricorn towards virgo i feel as if you want to give to this situation or this person wants to give to the situation, however, there's like external forces. This could have to be their own damn drama, you know, uh, lifetime trial. Somebody's really going through a hard time financially right now, Scorpio. And I feel like for some of y'all, it's this person's damn karma with how they've treated you in the past when you may didn't have enough money or you may didn't have it. But especially if you're married to this person, some of y'all could be experiencing someone going through some hardships right now. This person could be very um, moody. Their moods could be kind of up and down, which could be... It, Affecting the love aspect. Some of you all are dealing with a water sign or a fire sign, and y'all have a surreal good sex during this time, honey, okay? Some of you guys also are um, thinking about reconciling possibly with the Taurus from your past who you could have children with or an Aries person. I definitely feel like there needs to be a level of equal give and take. Someone wants to open up and actually express their feelings, okay? For others of you, this is a Gemini. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius. This person is wanting to come and express their love to you. This could have been a relationship in the past where you felt as if you were tied to a toxic situation with this person. Someone has had some type of awakening here, baby. Yeah, and I definitely see a stable offer coming in from an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. This person could have a lazy eye. Who making this offer? Some of y'all got new love. This person got a lazy eye. They are a beautiful person. Look at this person. He fine, y'all. But he do got that lazy ass eye, though. I mean, he ain't just going to sit here and act like we don't see shit. No, nah, we ain't doing that. There has there There is a transformation that's trying to happen within a partnership, within a union. It looks to be a past life partnership as well. For some of you all, this is somebody from your past, okay? So let me break down the elements of what I see, okay? If you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, let me bust, bust them. I think I'm going to go start back to doing readings like this because when I first started, I was able to kind of stick everybody out really well, okay? 
Some of y'all, this person could also be an Aries here with this Emperor card, or you. this could be the mother or the father of your children, okay? I definitely see a reconciliation trying to take place after a period of you all possibly fighting or having some type of confliction either within self or within the union where there wasn't, well, there wasn't someone felt as if they were giving more than another person, and someone felt as if the other person had a hard time opening up here, okay? Some of you guys could also be moving away some of y'all could be leaving a commitment and going, leaving a toxic commitment and going to go express your love elsewhere, possibly with the Sagittarius, Gemini. Others of you could be walking away from a fire sign due to the fact that they have some type of family situation or family tie that needs to be closed up during this time. Okay. I definitely see a reconciliation happening though, going forward. Okay. So if you Dealing with a fire sign, someone is wanting a new beginning. This could have actually been expressed to you or will be expressed to you during the next full moon. I believe the next full moon, is it the new moon? I think the next moon that we have is a new moon that's in Leo. Some of y'all could be also dealing with the Leo or reconciling with the Leo. There is a lot of love here, but someone needs to be willing to compromise, okay? For those of you who are dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all could be expressing your love to a water sign that's younger than you, okay? Some of you all, this could be a new love, okay? You guys are starting fresh, so you're taking things a bit slowly, okay? But this person is definitely a soulmate to you. The fact that it came underneath the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles is something that can actually grow to be very flourishing and something very um, healthy as far as the foundation, okay? So I definitely recommend that you guys keep taking it slow and don't, because I do see that either you or another person is still healing. You're still working on yourself, okay? So, come on with the water, babies. Who else did I do? Earth, okay? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Earth card that I got here is the devil. Stand up for Capricorn. For some of you all, you could view this connection to this person as toxic, okay? Or this could be the transformative energy that's trying to come through. Okay. Let me see. Oh. Let's get that good old ace. Okay. So for some of you all. Whoa. It's the order. I got it. For some of you all. Some of you all feel trapped in a situation. Some of you all feel stuck or caged in as if you're obli like you're, you, you feel as if you're stuck in this cycle of life's obligations. You simply just want to be, be free and be happy. Be your authentic self. Okay. Others of you, you could be dealing with a Capricorn that is stuck in a situation that could possibly, you could possibly be releasing during this time, okay? But we're going to get to that. Some of you guys could possibly be dealing with, um, and yes, some of you guys could be dealing with a situation that you feel trapped in, okay? You feel as if you're having to give to the situation or you're obligated to give to a situation due to there being children involved, okay? For some of you all, for some of y'all, you may feel as if you're giving more to a situation than what's being given to you. Due to the fact that you do have some type of family tie to this person. Some of you guys, this has to do with new love, a new offer, a new opportunity. Whatever it is that you've been working on and actually flourishing, it's harvest time for those of you who are looking at this for a career from a career standpoint. But if you're looking at it from love, some of y'all have something brand new trying to flourish with this compromise. If this is a reconciliation, with this compromise, okay, with this equal give and take here, can this become something very stable, very stable offer, very practical as well. For those of you who are dealing with an air sign, oh, with that damn water sign, I forgot I had the page. I'm going back to water, y'all, okay? I forgot I had the king of cups. I got the king of cups. Some of y'all have to literally make a decision between an earth sign and a water sign, okay, and possibly a fire sign. Some of y'all got tree decisions to make, okay? Others of you... I don't know why I heard family. So some of y'all just could have to do with rebuilding a foundation between a father and a child, specifically a son, okay? Um, others of you, this could also have to do with someone in the past possibly offering their love this way, okay? Someone could have moved away, which caused a, which caused a shift in perspective, also hurt in another person, but made them realize that they have to come this way. Uh, shit, listen. Uh, they got to come this way. Practical. Loving. 
on your boss shit. Mean it. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Those of you dealing with air signs, because there is a recognition of this person being a soulmate, okay? Some of y'all finally put down what you thought you wanted during this time and picked up what you know you need. For those of you who are dealing with air, some of y'all could also be dealing with another Scorpio. Some of y'all could be walking away from another Scorpio if you're dealing with the sign of Scorpio. Yeah. For those of you who are dealing with air, I got the temper that some of y'all could definitely be patiently waiting for Sagittarius. This person is coming to express love and they actually want to open up and be serious about a commitment during this time. Okay. They want to bring back a balance in a situation or balance is being restored in a situation that was once moving or once not seen as something being practical. Okay. Or what made sense. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Gemini. Okay. Others of you could be dealing with a soulmate that is truly mirroring your behavior, whether it's toxic or it is something that they can grow from or something that you can grow on. Someone could also, yeah, someone, you could have moved away from someone from being a mirror to you, but from the negative aspect, the, at the, the attributes of yourself that you're moving away from. If you're not vibing with another person who's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I definitely feel that some of you guys could be moving away from this person. And it's going to break their heart. But ultimately, Scorpio is knowing what it is that they deserve and what it is that they desire. They've been patiently waiting for balance to be restored in the situation for a motherfucker not to be able to get it right. So if you're mad and you feel played, you played yourself. Period. They played themselves, Scorpio. So it's no need for you to blame yourself, overanalyze situations of what the hell you did do. You know what you did do? The right shit. You was patient, you was kind, you was giving, over given in certain situations, okay? <laughs> For you to still be left feeling this, spirits say no more. That shit got to be eclipsed out of your life. So if you are releasing anything right now, it is not happening to you yet for you. Some of you all, this has to do with energy, negative energy that was around a particular dynamic being shifted, transmuted. into something beautiful here. With the recognition from both parties and the compromise coming from both parties willing to bring that balance with the intention of wanting to build on this balance. Because they are soulmates. One don't give more than the other. We give that same energy to one another. And that's what keeps us solid. Definitely see an apology happening here, okay? So, Spirit, what's your best advice for Scorpio during this time in love? What's the best advice for Scorpio? Hmm. Some of you guys are in a situation with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all are landing to rest. I feel like this is becoming very stressful. It's causing you to be in your damn head about it. And you, some of y'all feel as if it's preventing you from moving forward because that's all that you're thinking about, all that you're focusing on, okay? All that this person is focusing on is the relationship. And Scorpio is like, listen, I'm trying to bring practicality to this, okay? For others of you, some of y'all are going to be finding out, or water, if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, someone's going to find out that another person has been juggling during this time. Or someone did reconcile with their ex, okay? And they could have been juggling communication. Somebody could have also found out that their spouse was helping somebody else with finances around somebody else's children that was outside of your household. Which is why they've been given little attention, little love, little access. Some of y'all going to also find out that somebody actually had a baby during a reconciliation. I heard last year. They said last year. And I feel as if intuitively you felt that, but it, it was not proven, okay? For those of you um, who that that situation is for, you're currently feeling trapped in a situation. Spirit finna, finna release you, baby. You finna walk away from that situation here with that damn death card here. What's up with my death card? Yeah, Spirit is saying you're being released from that situation. Because it's time to move on to situations that actually serve you. Don't take the hurt. Only take the lesson from the situation that was gained. 
Okay? For some of you all, it, um, what you don't know is that, especially if you have children for a water sign or by an earth sign, someone is coming. If you're having financial issues with or uh, just trying to keep, you know, make ends meet with the children, hold on, baby. Someone is coming in to assist you with balancing out a situation around your children. Someone doesn't really know how to say I'm sorry. They only know how to say I'm sorry with giving you the coin, okay? And that conversation will be had at a later date, but just for the, for the time being, say thank you. Find that compromise. Find that balance. And some of y'all are just going to be expressing to somebody, listen, I'm done with this shit. I'm going out to go find emotional fulfillment. And at this point, I'm, listen, mm -hmm. I'm done. I'm done. Let's just work on this. This how this is, this is the compromise that we can make for our children. But as far as you using my children to keep me stuck in this place here, in this space of feeling as if I'm caged in and shit, no, I'm laying that shit to rest. That's God's job to worry about that. And it's God's job to get you better. And my lesson in this situation is to show you I'm going to leave for my own self-worth because your ass ain't going to treat me this way. I'm not going to live. I wasn't created to feel this way. That's what I'm talking about. Stand up and you own your goddess. Own your God during this time. Okay? So, you guys, this is what I have for you all in love. I pray that this resonates. I love you all so very much. If you need a personal reading, that information will be found within the description. And peace, love, life. Namaste. See y'all later. Bye, booze.